Beauty Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Happy Tuesday to you. It's 9 o'clock. We have a wonderful show lined up for you. We actually have some snakes in studio today. Yeah, there's a python here. Keep that thing where it belongs, Chris, I, please. <laughs> he's got it under control. Keep it there. Hey, oh. uh, it's National Clean Your Room Day. My room is typically clean is most it? of the time. How about yours? Uh, my room, yeah, but sometimes I, <laughs> I find people walk by my desk and they're like, what's going on here? I, I don't think it's that bad, is it, Teresa? Are those, uh, the, what, what is draped over your computer? <laughs> Not quite sure. That's my tie, Teresa. That is my tie there. You had some skivvies over no, there. No, 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 no. I would not do that. And a blanket? You I, should pick that up. And Hunter? No, that's the oh, little that's the cat makeup, makeup, makeup kit bag. I got you. Yeah, see, I was so masculine when I started the show. I was like the brawny guy on the on the paper towel. Not thing. anymore. And not even, I've, you've totally de demasculated me, so. I feel like you should pick up a little bit. <sighs> probably got to work on that today. Speaking <laughs> of picking up things that you probably find in your house, maybe behind the toilet things, moms, uh, Nerf guns, those little Nerf darts, you know, oh, you, sure. you, you yeah, find they're fun, them right. everywhere. There's a new uh, Nerf toy that's coming out. It's a new remote control drone tank. It's all you need in life, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Nerf and Strike Out Elite Terra Scout RC Drone Blaster. It's a remote control tank that features a cannon that can shoot 18 foam darts in an attack. Mm. Who are you attacking? Like your little brother or something? With you can 18? actually stream HD video from your attack. Ah, even better. Price tag, 200 bucks. Now, our director, Mark, just said you should get Dante one. But, <laughs> Teresa, I don't know. I, I think I've seen this before. Take a look at the, yeah? <laughs> he got me. He got gotcha. you. Dante got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah, Ryan. He, there you go. He was first on the list. And we, Nancy, our managing editor, brought this thing in. How, how do you even? You shoot it, right? Yeah, well, I, yeah, no, it's not a shower toy. OK, here we go. Oh, Ooh, that's almost. Not, that's really fast. Woo! Oh, this is fun. I'm, I'm, I'm almost hitting Heidi Lane in the Bender kitchen. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I, I got one more. So wait, this new thing is I got Heidi. a drone, yeah. and it will just come like right from the sky. No, that's no, incredible. no. It's a tank with a drone. But camera the drone. On it. Oh, I thought it was yeah. flying. I know, that's and what then I thought dropping. No, no, I don't oh, know. That's May, not as cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, it's, yeah. well but at least no one's, has gonna, one. no one's gonna get hurt with here, this. Here, bring this home to your son. I don't want to start him promote early. that. <laughs> okay, we'll hide this over here then. <laughs> All right, so perhaps his name should be Lucky because it's a little miracle that a uh, terrier mix survived the morning commute. Yeah, this happened yesterday, right yeah. here in Connecticut. The dog led yeah. state troopers uh, on a mad dash across I 95 in Fairfield. Connecticut State Police tweeted this picture of the one, trooper too, huh? who yeah. rescued their pup. I uh, was in his back seat. The passenger, uh, they drove to Troop G Barracks in Bridgeport. So if you know the dog that escaped, it looks like someone was taking care of the dog. Yeah. Right? At the barracks, yeah. So, so, so please, you know, contact them. Let well, them I don't know. think it was a stray either. I think it looked oh. like it was a healthy animal. It might have got. It had an owner. Right. Good. So, so, so hopefully call they them. find it. Let them know. Hey, speaking of Nerf guns and all these things, yeah. you know, millennials, uh, they they are the ones who are apparently in the 18 to 24 age range. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're they 18 to 35. Excuse me. They they have a new favorite restaurant. Apparently. Okay. Do you, do you know what it is? Take a guess. Why well, I'm looking at it and it, it says it's actually Red Lobster. Oh, that's what it is. Now, you a fan of Red Lobster? Big fan. I, I like the little cheesy little biscuit thingies that they have. Okay, I'll give you the give yeah. you the, the biscuit things, but I don't know. Someone took me on a date to Red Lobster. Really? Yeah, I don't know if Why? I know. I'd appreciate Why it. Why not they much. got the king crab legs? They got everything. I'm glad you enjoy it. Well, you fit right in that age range. So I, yeah, that's I, there you go. I guess so, maybe that's why, maybe that's why. Uh, but according to the survey, 173 restaurants were surveyed uh, for these young people and they found out that Red Lobster is in fact the winner. And the CEO says, hey, there's no correlation. We're not trying to market to this younger demographic. They, they just, just like it. They, they, know, they know good seafood when they find it. They love the lobster. That's <laughs> apparently uh, what it is. And then, of course, I don't know if you remember Beyonce, but she had a little reference to Red Lobster in one she of her did. songs. for <laughs> right. a little risque, but that uh, spiked their sales 33%. Wow. The, the and they were happy about it because I remember when it came out, they, they tweeted it. Yeah, yeah. They were uh, happy campers over that. All right, so when you think of Shakespeare, you might think about some of the world's best actors and some of the world's most famous stages, but one very special group of actors is turning that idea on its head. Yeah, they're criminals who are serving time at Sing Sing Maximum Security Prison in New York and taking part in a program called Rehabilitation Through the Arts. That's, That's nice. interesting. Yeah. 
they have quite the get up there too, huh? They had costumes. They didn't cut corners there on the <laughs> d design of those costumes. They're pretty, pretty cool. Now, uh, one of the prisoners said it was the first time in his life that he felt like he was act actually able to give back to the community through creative efforts and feel human again. So it's really, really a nice if it's story. It's working. That's nice. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, hey guys, we got a good show coming up today. Take a look.